Hello and welcome to mini course. Your gateway to bite sized learning. Today's lesson describes the five generic competitive strategy options. Each of the five strategy options represents a distinctly different approach to competing in the marketplace. Which of the five options to employ is a company's first and foremost choice in crafting an overall strategy and beginning the quest for competitive advantage? A company's competitive strategy deals exclusively with the specifics of management's game plan for competing successfully, how it intends to please customers, offensive and defensive moves to counter the maneuvers of rivals, responses to shifting market conditions, and initiatives to strengthen the company's market position and achieve a particular kind of competitive advantage. Chances are remote that any two companies, even companies in the same industry, will employ competitive strategies that are exactly alike in every detail. Why? Because the differing external and internal circumstances of different companies vary too widely for the managers of different companies to arrive at precisely the same conclusion about what strategy to employ, down to every detail. However, when one strips away the details to get at the real substance, the two biggest factors that distinguish one competitive strategy from another boil down to, one, whether a company's market target is broad or narrow, and two, whether the company is pursuing a competitive advantage linked to lower costs or differentiation. These two factors give rise to five competitive strategy options for staking out a market. Position, operating the business, and delivering superior value to buyers. Let's explain in detail the five generic competitive strategy options. The first strategy is broad low-cost provider strategies. The strategic aim of a broad low-cost strategy is to produce a good or service for a broad range of buyers at a lower overall cost than rivals, and thereby gain a cost-based competitive edge in the marketplace. But the success of a low-cost strategy depends on achieving a low-cost advantage that is durable rather than fleeting. This requires a company to employ cost-saving approaches and develop cost-reducing capabilities that are difficult for rivals to copy, thereby achieving a sustainable low-cost advantage. Companies like Walmart exemplify this by offering everyday low prices through extensive supply chain management and operational excellence. Walmart's mission, we save people money so they can live better, is realized through a focus on minimizing operating costs. This involves strategic supply chain management, technological innovations, leveraging economies of scale, and a commitment to sustainability. By streamlining operations, Walmart ensures affordable prices for all offering a better life to millions. Second is broad differentiation strategies. The strategic aim of a broad differentiation strategy is to offer unique product attributes that a wide range of buyers find appealing and worth paying for because of the added value they deliver. Successful differentiation allows a firm to do one or more of the following. Command a premium price for its product. Increase unit sales because additional buyers are won over by the differentiating features. Gain buyer loyalty to its brand because many customers really like the differentiating features and bond with the company and its products. Netflix employs a broad differentiation strategy to expand its global reach. With a vast content library, including high-quality originals and personalized recommendations, Netflix caters to diverse viewer preferences. The use of viewer tracking software tailors content to local preferences. Offering various pricing options, including affordable mobile plans in low-income countries, Netflix has established a well-regarded brand globally. Broad differentiation strategy works best when buyer needs and uses of the product are diverse. There are many ways to differentiate the product or service that have value to buyers. Few rival firms are following a similar differentiation approach. Technological change is fast-paced and competition revolves around rapidly evolving product features and attributes. Third is focused or market niche strategies. What sets focused strategies apart from broad low-cost provider and broad differentiation strategies is concentrated attention on a narrow piece of the total market. The target segment, or niche, can be defined by geographic uniqueness, by specialized requirements in using the product, or by special product attributes that appeal only to buyers comprising the market niche. Examples of firms that concentrate on a well-defined market niche keyed to a particular product or buyer segment include Animal Planet and the History Channel in cable TV, Tiffany and Cartier in high-end jewelry, 
Airbnb and by owner lodging rental, Ferrari and sports cars. Microbreweries, bed and breakfast inns, local bakeries, and local owner managed retail boutiques have also scaled their operations to serve niche markets. What a focused low cost strategy. A focused low cost strategy seeks to achieve a competitive advantage by serving buyers in the target market niche at a lower cost and lower price than rival competitors. This strategy has considerable attraction when a firm can lower costs significantly by limiting its customer base to a well-defined buyer segment. The avenues to achieving a cost advantage over rivals also serving the target market niche are the same as for low-cost leadership, outmanage rivals in using the cost drivers to perform value chain activities very cost-efficiently, and search for innovative ways to bypass non-essential value chain activities. The difference between a low-cost provider strategy and a focused, low-cost strategy is the size of the buyer group being targeted. Let's take some examples of companies adopting focused low-cost strategies, when Chevrolet launched the 2020 Chevrolet Spark. This is a low-cost car that is targeting green customers, environmentally conscious customers, and that are city dwellers. Another company is IKEA, which focuses on young furniture buyers who want style at low-cost price-sensitive and low-service customer groups. Other examples of focused low-cost strategies are the producers and retailers of private label goods. The makers of generic prescription drugs. The makers of economically priced replacement ink cartridges for printers carry a substantially lower price tag than those offered by makers of name-brand printers. Let's move to number four generic competitive strategy options. Focus differentiation strategies aim at securing a competitive advantage with a product offering design to appeal to the unique preferences and needs of a narrow well-defined group of buyers. It depend on a buyer segment looking for special product attributes or seller capabilities. A firm's ability to create a product offering that stands apart from the offerings of rivals in the same target market niche. Here are examples of focus differentiation strategies. Rolex serves the highest end of the watch market, with premium pricing and image. Rolls-Royce is serving luxurious end of the automobile market, premium pricing and image. The difference between a broad differentiation strategy and a focused differentiation strategy is the size of the buyer group being targeted. And number 5. Best Cost Provider Strategies Best cost provider strategies stake out a middle ground between pursuing a low-cost advantage and a differentiation advantage, and between appealing to the broad market as a whole and a narrow market niche. Such a middle ground allows a company to aim squarely at the sizable mass of middle market buyers looking for a good to very good product or service at an economical price. Such buyers frequently shy away from both cheap low-end products and expensive high-end products but they are quite willing to pay a fair price for extra features and functionality they find appealing and useful. The essence of a best cost. Provider strategy is giving customers the best value for the money by satisfying buyer desires for appealing features, performance, or quality or service, and charging a lower price for these attributes compared to rivals with similar caliber product offerings. From a competitive positioning standpoint, Best cost provider strategies are thus a hybrid, balancing a strategic emphasis on low cost against a strategic emphasis on differentiation, desirable extras at an attractive price. The competitive advantage of a best cost provider is lower costs than rivals in incorporating upscale attributes, such as appealing features, functionality, quality, and or satisfying customer. Service, putting the company in a position to underprice rivals whose products have similar upscale attributes. Example. Toyota has employed a classic best-cost provider strategy for its Lexus line of motor vehicles. It has designed an array of high-performance characteristics and upscale features into its Lexus models to make them comparable in performance and luxury to Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and Jaguar models. To further draw buyer attention, Toyota established a network of Lexus dealers, separate from Toyota dealers, dedicated to providing exceptional and attentive customer service. Most importantly, though, Toyota has drawn upon its considerable skills and know-how in making high-quality Toyota models at low cost to produce its high-tech, upscale-quality Lexus models. At substantially lower costs than Mercedes, BMW, and other luxury vehicle makers have been able to achieve in producing their models. 
And there you have it, the five generic competitive strategy options with real-world examples. Low-cost provider strategies, broad differentiation strategies, focused low-cost strategies, focused differentiation strategies, and best-cost provider strategies. Subscribe for more business insights, until then, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you for taking the time to learn with us in our mini-course.